In this video, I will solve your doubts about how to use DirectX 12 in GTA 5 and whether or not it is possible to do this. As you might be aware, DirectX 12 is available on a majority of newer games. It is, to my knowledge, a graphics API that could help increase increased performance on newer gen games, and some players have been wondering if it is possible to force GTA 5 to run on DirectX 12 instead of the usual DirectX 10 or DirectX 11. So, as you might be aware, if you go into the settings and you switch over to graphics, the second option from the top is going to be DirectX version. Currently, if you go to the left or right, you can choose between DirectX 10 DirectX 10.1 and then DirectX 11. If you go again to the right, you will just come back to DirectX 10. So it seems like inside of the game there is no option to run it on DirectX 12. As of today, is there any workaround to this? Any way to include DirectX 12 on GTA 5? Sadly, as it stands today, DirectX 12 is not officially available for GTA 5, and even though there are some tools out there that can convert DirectX 11 games into DirectX 12, GTA 5 in particular gains no benefit from this. In fact, converting the game to a different graphics API, or more specifically, changing the DirectX version, could actually give you worse performance. So, to answer the question in the title of this video, it is impossible to use DirectX 12 in GTA 5 natively, and it seems like Rockstar has no interest in doing this. Unfortunately, you will not be able to use DirectX 12, and like I said, there most likely won't be any benefits from doing this. They are moving on to GTA 6, so don't expect an update regarding DirectX 12 in this game in the future. I hope I was able to answer any questions you had about how to use DirectX 12 in GTA 5. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.